Hey guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the books that you need for fourth year of your dental degree. So before recommending to you any book, there are a few things that I would like to tell you. First thing is that it's not necessary that the books that you uh, look online will be the ones that you'll be needing in your college. So the books for BDS kind of varies from colleges to colleges and uh, what's best for you will depend on your college. So the best thing to do is after watching this video, you can write the list of the books which I've been giving and then consult with your seniors or your teachers and ask them if this is the right book for you. Also, in final year, there are a lot of resources that you need to refer during your studies. So what I advise is that you study from the books as well as the notes that you get in the lectures. Past question papers are also very important during your studies, so you should refer to them from the library. I'm not recommending foreign authors that much and I'm only recommending them for reference and that is because I feel that uh, for exam point of view, Indian authors are much more suited. But you can always refer to foreign authors for more information. So now let's start with the list of books that I recommend. Let's start with Oral Medicine and Radiology. For Oral Medicine, I recommend Anil Gom's Oral Medicine. I feel that this book is pretty good and it is sufficient for exams. Uh, there are also other books such as uh, Burkitt's Oral Medicine and that is the main reference textbook so you can study from that as well. Both are good but I personally studied from Anil Gom's. For Radiology, White and Farrow Oral Radiology is the book that you need to refer from. Uh, I think uh, I got one uh, small textbook of uh, radiology with this Anil Gom Oral Medicine. I studied from that but I felt that it wasn't enough so White and Farrow Oral Radiology is better. Now let's talk about Pedodontics. So for Pedodontics there are two authors Shobha Tandon and Nikhil Marwa. So the books are uh, Shobha Tandon textbook of Pedodontics and Nikhil Marwa textbook of Pediatric Dentistry. So the thing about these two books is that uh, both of them have some different qualities. For example, in Nikhil Marwa there are more uh, tables and flowcharts kind of things but that is not present in Shobha Tandon. Shobha Tandon is also much more uh, big because it has two volumes and uh, it is hard to carry also. But the thing is that I feel that both of these books are kind of important because uh, you, you need to study some topics from the Shobha Tandon and some topics from Nikhil Marwa. So what you can do is either get uh, uh, I feel that Nikhil Marwa is much more easy. So what you can do is uh, maybe get photocopies of the topics which you feel are easier in one book. But generally Shobha Tandon is also fine. So this is also again a uh, uh, personal choice and uh, what you can do is buy one book and download the PDF of other. Then there is another book called Damley's Textbook of Pediatric Dentistry. I haven't studied from that and that is the reference textbook generally. But I didn't use it at all. Now coming to orthodontics, the book I studied from was S.L. Balaji, Orthodontics, The Art and Science. So this book is pretty good I feel and uh, in ortho you don't need to consult too many books so one is also enough. This is one book and the other book is called uh, Gauri Shankar Textbook of Orthodontics. And uh, there is one more book called Burkirat Singh Textbook of Orthodontics but I didn't study from that. So you can either get this S.L. Balaji or Gauri Shankar. For reference, there are two books, Graeber's Orthodontics and Prophet's Orthodontics. So these two books, I don't think that you'll be needing to buy them, but you can refer to them from the library. Talking about periodontics. So for periodontics, I personally used uh, Shantipriya Reddy Essentials of Clinical Periodontology. But uh, what I feel that this book is kind of too concise and sometimes it lacks uh, more detail and explanation. So most people uh, study from Karanza Clinical Periodontology. This is also the main uh, textbook of Perio. So it is better that you study from Karanza. But if you have Shantipriya Reddy, that is also sufficient. You can refer to some of the topics from Karanza. And uh, there is also one more thing about this is that uh, for Karanza there is uh, one edition which is having just a single volume. So you can get that one. I don't know exact volume uh, number but uh, the one volume which is having a single volume it is much easier to study from. Now coming to prosthodontics. So for prosthodontics the only book I studied from was uh, Deepak Nalla Swami textbook of prosthodontics and uh, I feel that this book was pretty much sufficient for my exams but I feel that uh, for prosto that uh, you should refer to your class notes more 
and uh, uh, also there are these other textbooks which uh, you can refer uh, for cd there is uh, uh, winklers and vouchers for rpd there is mccracker and stewarts and uh, for fpd there is schillenbergs all these books are probably there in your library so you should just refer to them from the library and i wouldn't suggest you buy them and uh, for textbook of uh, prostrontics there is another indian author that is uh, rangarajan so rangarajan and uh, deepak nalla swami both of these books are generally referred to and they are equally good i feel i studied from deepak nalla swami textbook of prostrontics so that is the one i recommend you buy now talking about endodontics and operative dentistry so these two subjects i feel that you should already be having the books for these uh, from second year but if you haven't then uh, the book for endodontics which i recommend is nisha garg i feel that nisha garg is uh, really like concise and uh, to the point and it is much more uh, easier to study for exams from these uh, nisha garg books for endo and uh, operative for endo there is another book uh, of uh, an international author called grossman's endodontic practice and ingels endodontics grossman and ingels are both uh, much more suitable as a reference textbook and uh, you should just uh, study from these from the library and uh, you don't need to buy them so main book for endodontics i would suggest is nishagar uh, endodontics and for operative dentistry studiment is a good book to have but there is also one uh, operative dentistry book by nishagar that is better for exam but for reference you can uh, refer to studiment i recommend buying studiment uh, because sometimes you'll be needing to refer to it more than other reference books so it is better to have the studiment as well as the operative dentistry by nishagar now coming to oral surgery so in oral surgery the main book which i referred to was nilima malik oral and maxillofacial surgery uh, there is another indian author which is also referred to by many is uh, s m balaji oral and maxillofacial surgery so these are the two main indian authors and uh, these are the books that most people read from uh, so i personally recommend nilima malik oral and maxillofacial surgery but one thing is uh, like this book has some confusing parts uh, regarding fractures and also i felt like there are some things that you need to refer from other textbooks or uh, your uh, lecture notes other foreign authors that you can refer to are kylies and kays they have written books on surgery and fractures so these are good reference book for fractures and surgery there is another book on extraction of teeth by hoves so you can refer to that as well and uh, another very very important book which you need to refer to is a handbook of local anesthesia by malamed so this book is very important when you're studying local anesthesia and uh, if even if you don't study this kylies and kays and hoves book of extraction uh, you'll need to study this book uh, Malamed Handbook of Local Anesthesia because uh, whatever is given in it is not uh, really present in Nilima Malik or any other book. So it is very very essential to refer from this. And there is another book uh, by Malamed called uh, Medical Emergencies by Malamed. So I feel that uh, this book is kind of important again because uh, the questions uh, which are uh, asked during viva are uh, many times related to medical emergencies. So it is better that you study from it as well. But only for reference, you don't need to buy it. So for oral surgery basically you just need to buy Nilima Malik oral and maxillofacial surgery. Now coming to the last subject of this video that is uh, public health dentistry. So for this uh, I feel that the main book is Soben Peter Public Health Dentistry and uh, there is another book called uh, uh, Textbook of Public Health Dentistry by SS Hiramath but uh, I feel that Soben Peter is sufficient really and uh, it has everything that you need. and uh, there are only uh, very few subjects in uh, dentistry in final year that you can just study from one book and phd is one of them so for phd you just need just basically one book to study well and that is soben peter public health dentistry and all the books that i referred to in this video were uh, suggested by myself and uh, my classmates and i even asked some of my friends from other colleges to confirm if they use the same books and uh, so mostly everybody used the same books one point which i would really like to emphasize on guys is that uh, in uh, dentistry final year there are a lot of things that overlap so it is better that you study from one book and then uh, if that questions in the exam for some other subject you write the same answer because uh, if you study from two three places you'll uh, likely get confused 
so it is better that you study from one textbook if a topic is same in two three books so guys this was it for this video and i hope you found this content useful if you have any questions or queries that you'd like me to answer you can just comment below and i'll try to answer it as soon as possible and i hope you have a good day and all the best for your final year and don't forget to subscribe for future videos